Sam, where did you grow up? Did you grow up in LA? I grew up in LA. I'm from East LA. And, but in a really gnarly, dangerous Yeah, area. like at least I yeah. know that I was in my area and that I experienced living in the areas that I live in. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, there's more, like there's more to life, you know? And I want to be an artist. I remember when I was uh, in high school, I was embarrassed to show my drawing because I was like, dude, all I draw is girls. They're going to think I'm this big ass dyke. <laughs> I've always been into drawing girls. Mm -hmm. When I was little, my mom used to always paint her eyelashes really, really big. Wow. And she would put this mascara, like a lot of mascara, and I would make fun of her. I'd be like, mom, they look like spider legs. <laughs> and now that I paint, like I realize that my characters have big eyelashes, just yeah. like my mom. And she makes fun of me. She's like, what happened to my spider legs? Br besides your mom, were there girls that you knew that kind of looked like these girls too? Yeah, well, most of these characters, like like most of these characters, they're influenced by all my friends. You know, mm -hmm. like my mom's friends that are like old cholas you know, from East LA that wear big, like like the old school cholas wear like the big feathered hair. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that, the big yeah. feathered hair? They wear like a lot of makeup, red lipstick, really dark. They wear the long nails. I don't have long nails because I've been painting a lot of murals, so yeah. I can't wear my long freaking yeah. nails. But um, it's just like an, it's just cultural. It's an influence. All my characters, I call them chola. Mm -hmm. So they're like really tough girls Yeah. that come from LA. But it, it is is the tough girl that comes from LA. Is that partly you being tough too? Yeah, yeah. I think you had to put on this toughness to not be involved with all of that. Yeah, I think my characters represent me, and they represent all the girls that come from LA, and not just from LA, like from any area. You know, like they come from like rough areas, maybe low income areas. You know, ghettos, hoods, and they and they broke the stereotype, and they became teachers. They became. Uh, Doctors, so it's really cool the fact that I, I meet I've met a lot of women now with what I do that come from the same areas that I come, mm -hmm. you know, the same like uh, environments, but that are actually successful, yeah, like hostile environments, yeah, yeah. And they're very successful, they drive Mercedes and Audis and like you know, nice cars. I'm yeah. like, oh my god, I'm gonna be like you when I yeah. grow up, you know, when I get bigger, yeah. So, like, through my art, I've met a lot of cool girls, you know, that like my art but that are professional. Mm -hmm. They're the strong girls. Broke who didn't out, go. yeah. They, they broke didn't out go. from the stereotype and yeah. they went into the streets. Like I've been yeah. to like Mexico, Guatemala, I've been to New York, Puerto Rico, Chicago. I've been to different places through my because of my art. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think my art has really opened the doors for me to see different things and to experience different cultures and different people. If you didn't have the art, if you didn't have the girls, <gasps> what, would you be in jail? Would you, would we see, would you have like 12 kids? You know what? I thought about it. I was yeah. like, well, I, I thought about it last time because sometimes I take myself for granted. I think like, oh, I'm not doing anything. But then when I look at it, the typical, you know, person that's in their early 20s hasn't really done as much as I've had, mm -hmm. you know? So it just makes me think that I take myself for granted. I never thought I would be an artist. Mm -hmm. Ever, I never really took it serious. And then when I started seeing how how much you could accomplish and how far you could go with your art and how many people and doors and how many things you could see with your art, mm -hmm. like the first cool thing that I did was um, work with the NBA. They called me and they're like, "Do you want to come to Miami for for Art Basel? We'll fly you out here and we'll pay you." I was like, "Oh my God, <laughs> is this real?" I yeah. hanged up on them. No, my life is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no. I hanged up on them. I was like, who will crank call me like that? Why would you crank? Why would you do me like that? You know? And then they call me again and they're like, listen, Sam, this is, this is a very serious call. This is the NBA calling you, the art department. And I was like, this is a lie. And then they send me the check. When I see the check, I'm like, oh my God, this is real. And that was, that was, that's when I knew, like, I need to be an artist, you know? Like, that was a trigger I, moment. Yeah, that's when I was like, there's doors being opened because people see my drive and they see the fact that I'm very passionate about my girls. And I imagine the painting, the girls in general are like a, a kind of shield. Yeah, I paint really big. Have you noticed that my girls yeah. are really tall? Yeah. I like to paint really huge girls because I feel that I could do anything. You know, like to me, like I'm really short. I'm five feet, so I'm, yeah. I'm short. So when I paint, I like to paint huge just to prove to myself that I could go big. And it's just, all gonna be you. Yeah, yeah, and it's all me. I'm very selfish. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't like to paint with anybody because then it creates conflict, then it creates problems. So like, I just like to be neutral and just do what I like to do and enjoy what I like, which is painting. So usually I'll go around around LA and I'll find my own, my own wall location that's never been painted, that's never been touched by anybody. So that means it's mine. It belongs mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll paint a cartoon, eating a cupcake, or you know, <laughs> whatever I'm feeling yeah. at the moment yeah. is what I, what I paint. Did you have influences besides your mother that were like supporting art um, in your career? Yeah, in the beginning, a lot of guys, a lot of my friends were like, "No, don't paint. There's somebody has already done cartoons. Like nobody's ever gonna want that." Mm -hmm. 
but I was, I'm so stubborn. I was like, I'm going to paint. And I'm going to be known. And people are going to like my art. And people are going to see it all over the street. I didn't even know how to paint murals when I started. I was like, how am I going to paint this whole wall? You know? Yeah. But I'll take weeks to paint a wall because I didn't know how to start. But I'm so stubborn that I didn't want to ask for help. So no one, you just developed it yourself. Yeah, yeah. I started drawing by myself. Because I've always drawn since I was little. Since I was like 10, I would draw and I would, I would base myself off of comic books. And then uh, I started seeing the Lowrider magazine and Teen Angel. Teen Angel is like a very gangster magazine. Okay. It's really old school and they, they draw like a lot of like old school Mexican looking women. So I started going by that. And the pinup model. Yeah, like penitentiary art. That's, it's like penitentiary mm -hmm. art. So I started doing that and then I started developing my own style. Because I wanted it to be a style that girls from this era, from right now, could understand. What advice do you have for kids that grew up, growing up now in East LA, where you grow up? to like not become gang members and not become part of this terrible kind of Horrible. cycle. I just, I just want like every, every kid, every kid that wants to paint, every girl that wishes to paint, just do it. Create a certain style that you think is gonna be cool. And don't listen to anybody, because everybody when you're starting something, they're not gonna believe in you. Whenever you're starting something that you really believe in, let's say you wanna do music or you wanna be an artist, people don't really believe in you because they wanna see it happening first you know so in the beginning nobody's gonna believe in you and that's common but just keep doing it you know if you want to paint walls if you want to be an artist get canvases go to michael's go to walmart and just you know buy canvases and just start painting on them buy spray paint and go ask let's say the local freaking corner store they can let you paint so you need to go out there and do it hands on awesome thank you sam all right oh, homie, well, for are sure doing? Are, we doing, are we doing the uh... <laughs>